This tutorial is a continuation about vectorizing an image or drawing. In the last tutorial, we took this scan and vectorized it so that we can use it for screen printing. I have already traced the bitmap, vectorized this, and cleaned up the nodes a bit. Right now I'm ready to go ahead and color it. So I'm just going to click on the different areas. I want to make sure that I use the Pantone colors. Those color palettes are found under Window Color Palettes. I'm just going to quickly color this fish orange. And the way I'm dragging this color is over is I am holding down shift on my keyboard and then right clicking and dragging from an orange area to an area that I want to be orange. Another way you could do this is to just click and drag a square around these many scales here and then click the color on the palette. That's a little faster way to color a lot of areas if you know they're all going to be the same color. Let's make these fins maybe a gold color. Maybe we'll make a couple scales speckled with some black. At this point, we've got the whole image colored. You'll notice that a couple of these fins I didn't color. The problem is I made a mistake on purpose just to show you how to correct it. If you go ahead and make a, a shape, and then we're going to take this shape and just put a color on it, and then we're going to go to Arrange, Order, two back. You'll notice <coughs> that those fins are kind of see-through. And if we try to put a color on them, it doesn't work. It's just going to color what's underneath. We can't click on those areas at all. What happened was I purposely left a hole in here, which can happen from time to time. And there's a hole in this one as well as the other one. I'm going to show you how to fix that without having to rescan and do all that stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use your freehand tool. You're going to zoom in close where you can see. And what we need to do is just bridge this gap. You can use a square or a circle to bridge the gap. I'm going to use the freehand tool. And I'm just going to click and drag and make just a freehand shape for that area. Then I'm going to go to back to my pick tool. I'm going to have this selected and then go ahead and hold down shift and select the black around it. And I'm going to click weld. And I can go in here and I can adjust these nodes a little bit if I like. just to make the width the same. And now that that hole is not there, but we still can't color this piece here, this spin. What we need to do now is we need to go up to Arrange, Break Curve Apart. It may say Break Apart in other versions. And what that's going to do is it's going to break that hole apart from the black silhouette of the fish. 
And then also what it does when you do a break curve apart, it's going to make the object the same color as the big object. So it's black as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the big black silhouette of the fish first. We're going to hold down shift on our keyboard and hit page down. That's going to send it all the way to the back. Then control page up just to bring it above the blue circle. And then we're going to click on the fin itself. And at this point we can, we can select it. So we're just going to shift, click, and drag that yellow over to the fin. And now that fin is fixed. This tail fin is going to be a little bit more tricky. What you'll see here is we have two holes. So if the first method doesn't work, then what might be happening is you might have an area with two holes. You'll see I have one here and one here. It's a little trick, more tricky, but it's not impossible. What we have to do is we just have to bridge both of those gaps at the same time. So we're going to go back to our freehand tool. Just going to click and drag to create kind of a freehand shape there. We're going to do the same for this other area, just bridging that gap. And then we're going to go back to our pick tool. We're just going to hold down shift on our keyboard, select both of those freehand areas first and then select the middle piece across here and then as well we're going to select the other black piece the big one and then we're going to click weld and that's going to weld all those together and then at this point we have no more spaces no more gaps we can adjust these nodes if need be if it looks a little off And then like before, we can go to Arrange, Break Apart, and then we can click on the big fish area, hold down Shift, Page Down, then Control, Page Up, and then we can pull that color over to that back fin. So in just a couple minutes, we fixed both of those fin problems. Now there's just one more little issue with this. We have a space in between this whisker that is white instead of showing through to the blue background. There's a couple ways to trick that. One is we can just copy this blue color over to it so it's going to appear as though the blue background is showing through. But I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to show you how to actually cut that out so that uh, so it shows through wherever you put the fish. So I'm going to just select the white area first that I want to be cut through and then shift select the black area surrounding it and then press the trim button then just click off to the side click on the white area and press delete. Now that area is trimmed out of there so if we put a different shape behind it it's going to show through that shape as well. So now we have a vectorized fish in just a few minutes that's totally ready for screen printing.